Well, within the world of VR chat, there's certain avatars out there. You know, you can get the cute little elven maiden. You can get the lo and behold meme avatars that are out there. Or you can just find your basic video game character. There's many different avatars that you can use in this program. What I'm going to talk about today is a beast of an avatar. It's one that you guys have seen. If you've been following me over on my Twitch channel, go check out my Twitch channel. Same name over on Twitch. I'm very close to affiliate over there. But I've been over there with who I'm going to be naming at this point, my BFF, my best furry friend, known as the Plague. His avatar is a base model of a beast known as what is called the Freak Hound. Now, there is a lot of things that I've un uncovered about this avatar. Talking with the creator of this avatar, getting a little bit of an inside scoop, maybe a little bit of the mind of this avatar, maybe a little bit more. Follow me on the journey that I have in front of you. First, of, of course, first and foremost, the avatar was born in a lab. That is something a little bit different. When it comes to avatars in VR chat, when it comes to the furry community, your backstory in this sense has its own lore. And the lore on this one I find very fascinating. Well, the free count, it was created by Ghost Cabot. And they, they have a Twitter account and I have messaged them and I've gotten a little bit more details about the free count a little bit. When you create an avatar, you put it up on sale for a site that's called Gum Road. That's actually where I found my own personal avatar. And if you take a look at the two avatars together, you, you have a very similar for the chest for the hair is quite different, but that's about the only similarities other than the basic body when it comes down to making avatars. Now, this is a very interesting story on Gumroad because it's found evidence. It's a cryptid version of an avatar. This is something you generally don't see. So this was a letter, a friend, a friend at freecount.com from J, J at UBU, w.com the subject is free count evidence to whom it may concern a compiled a brief list of evidence regarding subject zero i feel it may be helpful in learning the true intent of its creators these are some of the remaining audio scripts that fa ill-fated employees of that fateful day the, the source of the audio is disputed but we believe it to be captured from the creatures themselves we i did everything right, employee 614. It was just another day. Nothing could go wrong, or so we thought, employee 369. I don't want this to be on record. You're not recording this, right? Okay, cool. I think they're cute, employee 126, dot, 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 employee 427. They literally just said dot, dot, dot. So the computer system, apparently. We don't know what happened to them or where are they are. There's some of the last images of Subject Zero. So they show that the free count escaped a pod. Subject is leaving hibernation pod. Subject had difficulty getting past the warning tape, seeming visibly upset at the warning tape. No, you cannot cross the warning tape, free count. That's not allowed at all. All. So he's seen through the company laptops, intent unknown, very, very menacing at that point. Last image taken on employee 369's phone, retrieved from the cloud backup, phone location, unknown. That was, of course, this one here. And then uh, I took this image myself. I actually had a decent camera, unlike the other scientists, couldn't take a decent photo to save their lives while they're probably dead, so that checks out. And you can see the free count is learning. So this is a very interesting lore behind it. What are they searching for? Who knows? What remains to be seen is what you do from here. We're all counting on you. Jay, who is Jay? That, that, that's something entirely different. The free count, terrifyingly cute, adorably deadly, ferociously fluffy. Very much the same as when you think of Stitch. This is the free count. You know, he's got two paws, he's got four digits on his paws it's it's a little bit different you know you you, you got the dino tail i don't know if we can kind of show that off there somehow if i turn around 
yeah, you see the dino tail, you got the scales, and it's quite unique in that sense. It's quite fluffy, it's quite cute, it's got its own sense of reality at this point. The free count. Of course, we stand here in the middle of the Stanley Parable. What does this have to do with anything? Is there hidden secrets with the free count? Did I get some understanding? There's something more to it. Now, I actually went out of my way and I asked the creator a little bit more details how he came up with the free count, what it was. And what he told me, he, he told me that there was an inspiration from other video games. One being a little bit of the Stanley Parable, another being Portal, and another one being Half-Life. So a mix between a few different games. What does that really mean? Where does that really go? Well, I guess the cake is a lie. That, that, that's probably part of it. And every path leads down a different road. If you've taken a look at many different streamers, many different furries that are out there in the VR space, every single one seems to have a unique version of this avatar. Well, it wasn't for money. It wasn't for an idea of something to do with VR. It actually was created as a base model for a fursuit. So, their friend, they, they, their friend called Turbulence, needed a base model for a fursuit. And, thus, the free count was born. So, Turbulence is a pilot, an avian, um, that also needed a different base model, and now they use what's called the free count as their base model for their fursuit, which is an amazing fursuit. I'll probably put some pictures of that up on screen in editing. Absolutely amazing with the blue and the greens, and the, it's just absolutely something that I, I would love to see in real life at this point. So, that's where the free count came from. It was a unique character that was born for a need, a different need, and then it's become one of the basic models that you use if you're playing VR chat. Honestly, it's pretty cute and cuddly, but it's very ferocious, right? It, it still, it might have that cute look, it might have that guile to it, but it's going to infect you, and it infects everybody. Hmm, maybe, maybe I gotta sit back and actually take a look at this model myself might even be coming something more now when it comes to the free count there is something more behind it there's actually a meme that's been born out of this thing you are a follower of a twitch streamer by the name of jake Warepanther. he had the same setup i have right now i use the quest 3 but there became a meme and it's been a meme that has gone up and down and it's become quite famous now in the community for the furries and that is called the jake face meme he went around he had this look he had this look with his his jaw maw always sucked back like he was he he wasn't quite sure he was contemplating something but it wasn't quite the same and that's how the meme was born because he went around meeting new people like i've done now meeting new people trying to just learn more finesse to this program, to the community. And in that same essence, a meme was born. And the Jake face meme has now gone in notoriety. You know, I gotta say, it's one of the more unique avatars that I've seen because of the amount of customization you can do with it. It's v Beat Saber ready. It, it's ready just to pick up and play around with and do your own thing. But of course, you gotta run all the other programs to figure that out. Maybe that's for another time. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again very soon.